Everybody, let's talk. I want to break down the entry signals that I'm trading, and I want to show you some examples so you can study them and then start to mark them up yourselves. The idea of this video is to help you figure out which one of these signals really speaks to you. Which one are you going to niche down into? Of course, you can trade all of them, but I want you to try to focus one, focus in on one and get better at that and get bigger in that. So let's start at the beginning. We'll start with the top of range trades, just so you understand what we're looking at here. When we get into 9.30 Eastern time every day, I'm looking at regular trading hours. So I don't see pre-market. You can change that setting in your trading view at the bottom right corner. Once we get into that 9.30, it's going to anchor, based on the indicators that I'm using, the Lux Algo ASFX A2, it's going to anchor the start of day indicator to show the New York VWAP here in black. That's my daily VWAP, my New York VWAP, whatever you want to call it. The opening range is an edge full indicator that shows us the top and bottom of the first 15 minutes of price action, the high and low in the first 15 minutes. That's the opening range. So here at 10.04, we're short as we come back into the range, but a few parameters have to be met first. We first need to break out of the range to the upside. Then we need to close back into the range after creating a structure point that I can use as a stop loss, usually five to 10 points on ES, usually here at six and a half. We enter short on the close back inside of the range with some strength. That short then carries to the middle of the range, which is usually, again, usually not all the time, but usually it's the New York VWAP. That's the first place we take profit. If it pins that and starts to reject it, we get out. If it cuts through, we take some off and trail the stop loss with a target at the bottom of the range. We don't anticipate it to break and run. We just target the bottom of the range. It's a range trade. Same thing here. We break the top. We come back in, we set that structure point here. It's very tight, only three points because it's low volatility right now. We close back inside the range, cut through the middle of the range here at the New York VWAP, and we go to bottom of range. So that's the short on the top of the opening range. That's one of the entries that you can play. Then we have the longs on the bottom of the range, like today's trade. We bounce off of the bottom of the range, the black line. We bounce off of the previous day's New York VWAP often, and that shows strong support. And we trade then back to the top of the range. Today, the New York VWAP is near the top of the range. So you take profit at that New York VWAP or the top of the range. That's the target. So same idea, out of the range, back into the range, tight stop loss on structure, because if it makes any new lows, you're wrong. You got to get out of it. I'm going to show you some losses like this one. When it breaks back into the range, not a lot of strength, but it's bouncing off of the previous day's New York VWAP in blue, and we're going to trade to the today's New York VWAP mid-range, or we're going to trail to top of range. But this stop loss of nine points at this pin gets tapped. It's fine. You take the loss, and then you'd be willing to try again. I have a two-try rule where I'll attempt it twice in the same direction, and if I'm wrong both times, I'll stop. So I buy here as we break back into the range. Stop loss at structure is now about 11 and a half, 11 and three quarters, coming off of that New York VWAP and coming back into the range. We quickly cut the New York VWAP and trade to the top of the range. If we did not cut that New York VWAP quickly, you can piece out of that trade aggressively if you want. So again, we'll have losses like this one where we don't show a lot of strength out and then back in, but maybe you get induced into trading it long just because you like it sitting at the bottom of the range like I did. I went with a 10 point stop here and I got full stopped on this. It was stupid. It really didn't pop and then come back in until about here. And that's where you could have argued that we would have gotten long. But then look, it can't even hold that New York VWAP. So by trying to pick a price and just get in at the bottom of the range, I screwed myself. Now, later that morning at 1049, we got back in with a same distance, 10 point stop. But now look, we're entering as we have coming back into the range, we are coming back into the range with strength and we're breaking the New York VWAP break, retest, come off of it. We're getting long as we're bullish. That's a much stronger move here, showing some strength rather than this first one here that's just kind of sitting there before it makes another leg down. So that's the bottom of the range to the mid and then to the top. I also showed you the short from the top to the middle and then down to the bottom. Now I'm going to show you the mid-range trades. Here, it pops out of the bottom of the range. We love that. We're trading the double break stat on Edgeful, which says about 70% of the time we break the bottom and the top of the range before 12 o'clock. So it breaks the bottom. Good. Check mark, checkbox. Now it breaks the New York VWAP as it comes back into the range. So you end up long right in between the opening range high and opening range low. So that's why it's mid range. It's in the middle of the opening range. First take profit is going to be close to you. It's going to be at the top of the range. That's where we want you to take some off and trail the stop loss or just get full out and be willing to get back in. I'm going to show you another entry signal here in a second. 
Again, middle of the range trades are going to be the choppiest. They're not going to be right or wrong always very quickly, like the extreme trades from the top or the bottom will be. But that's why you got to give it the proper stop. So if you're long in the middle of the range, stop is at bottom of range. You trade to top of range. Here, I didn't take enough off, and then I got stopped in profit on that. So when you trade from the middle and you get to the top, you've got to at least lock your stop loss and take some off. And if you don't want to take the full trade, you can try to trail and run it, but you might get a donut like this sometimes. Again, middle of the range trade, breaks the top, pins the bottom, strong break of New York VWAP, stop is nine and a quarter at structure, holds the New York VWAP for five, six minutes beautifully, takes the top of the range first, take profit, and then it carries. So here, a stop loss trail would have made you more money. Again, middle of the range, also holding previous day New York VWAP in yellow. So it's holding today's New York VWAP nicely, retesting yesterday, still closing above today's New York VWAP. I'm looking at those candles closing, pinning lower, but still making higher lows with the pins. So I'm like, this is still bullish. I put a stop at the bottom of the range, trade to the top of the range, full out at the top. That's it. It's an easy little trade. And here, the final type of trade is the high of day VWAP break. Here, you can see we put a purple anchor as structure is moving higher. When it breaks and shows me that it's closing strong above it, that's where I get long with a stop at structure. This was just a quick little scalp. Here, you will take losses. And notice, it gives you opportunity to get out before you take full stop loss at structure. When you start to get candles that don't touch your VWAP that you used for entry, that's a bad sign. It's moving away from that VWAP. So it's not a good sign. But you'll get trades like this. High of day VWAP, it breaks out of the top side of the range. Can't get back down to the bottom of the range. Higher lows near the top of the range. And look at the break through the high of day VWAP. You don't have to enter right there. Make sure it holds. Let it break and retest if you want to be sure. Break hold, retest, hold, and then you get long as it moves off of it. And that trade works nicely. So this is off of the opening range high, but it's after we've already broken out. So it's a break and a retest. And then we use the high of day VWAP for the entry. So these are the three kind of ways you can play longs. Longs off the bottom. As we break that New York VWAP, take profit at top of range. Longs in the middle of the range off the New York VWAP, take profit at top of range. Or longs as we break the high of day VWAP right here, and we trade those to top of range and then out of the range. Sometimes this will present out of the range, and you're just trading for the highs. So those are the entries. Mid-range, from the top to the bottom, from the bottom to the top, and then the high of day VWAP break. And I want you guys to focus on one of those four and really start to mark that up, really start to study it. Still pay attention to all of them. I never really take shorts off the top. It's occasional, but I still mark them up. It's still good practice. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, of course, please let me know.